Hey everybody, Bohush here, the casual expert speaking for PhotodeoxPro.com. And in this video, we're looking at the Pronto autofocus adapter for Sony cameras and uh, how we have used this amazing adapter to get autofocus performance from toy camera lenses, Holga lens, Diana lens, old lenses that have no business being autofocused. And yet, with the Pronto autofocus adapter, we can do that. So if you look around on YouTube and on Facebook, we've been demonstrating the Pronto lens adapter uh, using vintage lenses. I mean, look, here's an old one from 1897. We can autofocus practically any lens out there. And the way we do that is you attach the Pronto to your Sony camera, and then the Pronto has a motor inside that will physically move the lens forwards and backwards and attain focus. And it's controlled by the Sony camera. So together, you can autofocus any lens that you can attach. Now, out of the box, the Pronto goes from Sony camera to Leica M lens. But if you use another adapter, you can adapt any lens to Leica M, pop this onto your Sony, your autofocus, you're on your way. So as I was looking through all of our vintage lenses, I came across these lenses, the Holga lens and the Diana lens. These are modern versions of an old camera. Uh, the Holga camera, the Diana camera were these super low cost cameras. Uh, I actually used to see them as carnival prizes in the 80s. They were really, really cheap. Uh, but what made them kind of nasty and cheap is exactly what makes them cherished today. The lens is plastic and soft. You get kind of weird looks. Plus the body of the camera had lots of light leaks in it and stuff like that. So photographers love these uh, cameras and lenses for the kind of weird, organic, random stuff that happens. And so folks have created lenses for modern digital cameras like these. Uh, this Holga lens costs like 20 bucks. The Diana lens costs not much more than that, I don't think. But you get that kind of organic look, that kind of I hate to say this, but it's, it's kind of what Instagram was trying to do, you know, with all those crazy filters and stuff like that. But you can do it for real in the real world. And now you can autofocus these lenses. I mean, admittedly, these lenses are kind of a pain in the butt to use on a modern camera. But with the Pronto, you can get autofocus performance out of these lenses. I mean, these lenses have no business being autofocused, but let me, let me show you how this works. So this is a Holga to Nikon lens. Here is a Nikon to Leica M adapter. I attach these guys together. Thusly, I want to adjust the lens so it's focused to infinity. Now I'm going to put this on the Pronto adapter, like so. Little click and it's on there. And now we'll mount it on the Sony camera. This whole setup, and now look. Now just turn the camera on. The adapter will scoot the lens forwards and backwards, and now we are ready to go, ready to get autofocus performance from this crazy lo-fi lens. Uh, so all of a sudden, this lens is a lot easier to use and get more predictable results with the kind of unpredictable nature of the photos that come out of it. But uh, it's super fun. Um, so here, let me show you how to attach the Diana lens. It's the exact same process. So this is a Diana Nikon mount lens. Let's attach that to this adapter. Click it into place, and again, make sure that we're set to infinity. Turn the camera back on. Moves the lens forwards and backwards. Again, ready to shoot right now with autofocus and this crazy toy camera lens. So as you can see, we're able to mount crazy lenses onto the Sony and still get autofocus convenience. Uh, whether it's a vintage lens like these, or like mega vintage, like this 120 year old lens, whether it's a toy camera lens, as long as the lens and adapter combo is under two pounds, you can mount it on the Pronto adapter. Uh, so make sure to check out YouTube and Facebook for more videos where we show off the Pronto adapter in action. Uh, you can click on the link down below this video to learn even more about the adapter and make one your very own. And don't forget to click right here to subscribe so you can get more videos just like this one. What will you mount to your Pronto adapter? Let us know in the comments below. My name's Bahush. Thanks for watching.